Then there's three types of inflections. I mean, you could up inflect at the end of every sentence and it'll sound like you're asking a question when you might be making a statement. You know, like the one day at band camp, uh, we played the clarinet, like that lady from, what was that movie where the girl talked like that all the way through? American, American Pie. Pie, there we go. See, the references are there if you can dig them up. Uh, so if we talk in an up inflection, it actually raises doubt in other people's minds when really we want to sound more certain, but really sound uncertain. And we kind of make them go, I guess, yeah, I'm not sure if this person is telling the truth. Do you know what I mean? So my daughter will come home from school and she'll talk about what they did at school and she'll be like raising up the end of her sentence. And I'll go, are you telling me, are you asking me a question or are you telling me a statement? Right? So what I caution you to do is uncertainty tends to lift the end of your voice. Uh, for those of you watching who are Canadians, that means that you have a tendency to up inflect at the end. And I'm, I know there's parts of the United States where that happens too. You up inflect at the end. A. Eh? In Canada we say A. Eh? In Michigan we say huh? So you know different things happen. So the reality is that when you up inflect you raise doubts in people's minds. So that's up inflection. The subconscious interprets it as a question. By the way, you could, when you master this, you could use that strategically, right? Somebody could tell you, I'm certain about this, and you say, you're certain about this? <laughs> and you'll raise questions in their mind. They'll start to doubt themselves. Then you can deliver information as a statement inflection. It's sunny outside today. It's overcast today. Straight across. The, it just interpreted as fact. Or you can use command inflection where you drive down the end of your sentence, which is the Jedi mind trick. These are not the droids you're looking for. You will take us to Jabba now. Right? So that science fiction is actually based in some fact, which is when we drive down the end of our sentence, we sound extra confident. Now, what we learned earlier in the demonstration is that when I push my information onto someone, they will tend to push back. And so the same thing can happen with command inflection. So what we do in order to get under the radar of the subconscious is we add a question at the end called a tag question, but we still drop the tonality. You can see what I'm talking about, can't you? You can see how powerful this information is, can't you? This information is quite interesting, isn't it? You want to go and buy me a coffee, don't you? <laughs> right? So we drop down the tonality in order to get people to do what we want. Now again, do I suggest that you walk around the office doing matching and mirroring and dropping the tone and dropping down the end of your sentence and adding tag questions every time that you speak? No. I think it could be a little overbearing. However, when used strategically, it can give you the kind of impact that you're looking for.